Um, so there is an article in the Wall Street Journal that mentioned um, that new businesses are being formed at the fastest rate since 2007. Um, and I'm curious, how much of that do you think is healthy recovery from the pandemic? And how much of that do you think is caused by um, like Fed stimulus and everything? That true? We were seeing the highest. Where'd you read this? Wall Street Journal. I'll have to look that up. The highest, highest rate of new businesses being formed since 2007. That, so I wonder, I wonder what the number is if you net out bankruptcies. Right. And, and there's speculation. Uh, I think this is what Ari is talking about. There's speculation that a lot of this is driven by people who are like, hmm, I'll start a business now and take advantage of, uh, of stimulus PPP money. Get PPP. I mean, that's possible. It's not easy to get PPP, particularly now. Most of the money's being spent. My guess is that it's more related to the fact that uh, the economic policies under COVID have driven so many companies bankrupt that it's created opportunities that people are jumping in to take advantage of. Some of that might be funded by the Fed and PPP and other things, but I think it's a market response partially funded by the government to uh, a, a COVID, which was caused to a large extent by government, right? So um, if, look, if hundreds of restaurants are going bankrupt in New York City, New York City will ultimately still have to have restaurants. So somebody's going to have to start new restaurants to fill in the gap. So my guess is that net business creation is still going to be way down this year, uh, even with the new business created, but they uh, but that the new businesses are basically filling in the gaps of the businesses that have gone under. It could also be a play like Donald Trump used to do, right? Donald Trump was very good at, I'll file for bankruptcy on that property, shield all my other assets from it, file bankruptcy over there, let the courts handle it, and I'll take whatever capital I can preserve to invest somewhere else and start a new business over here and keep every business separate. So when I file for a bankruptcy, they can't come after me they can't come after my other businesses. So that could be also what's going on is that the bankruptcies, um, we're seeing these bankruptcies as a strategic thing where they're pulling capital from the bankrupt company and investing in and starting new companies that basically do the same thing the bankrupt company did before. So it could be just gaming the system. Yeah, and if you smash enough windows, uh, somebody's gonna benefit by uh, having to replace the windows. Yeah, that's a good, Good way of putting it, yep. Um, all right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair cynicism and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, 
then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.